you know, a lot of writers even, when they, they'll write a great story, all the characters are fully fleshed out, you get to the mothers and they either deify her or they demonize her, but they never see a whole human being. It's like, how do you think you got here? Your mother has had feelings and desires, and whatever little thing you have, your mother felt it and experienced it before you, which only means she's much more capable of that thing that you think you are so good at. Juanita. Oh, my. I just want to make you happy, baby. Can I do that? Uh-huh. Mom! Mom! My husband, Roderick Spencer, wrote the screenplay. We both love the fact that a woman, people, who usually are relegated to the edges of the frame are in the center of the frame. Not only just because she's a black woman, but a working black woman. She's the one just bringing the medicine, making sure the bedpan is emptied. Usually the whole story, if we saw Juanita, it'd be about some fabulous person and she would have brought the medicine in and left but the camera just stays with her. We got told, you know, this is so smart, this is great, but there can't be a black woman in the lead. The business type cast everybody. They really like to pigeonhole you. Whatever you do, if you trip going into the interview, it's like, do that thing you do. Now we're gonna hire you for that trip, and every time the rest of your career, okay, some point, yeah, you're Harriet Tubman, but we need to do that trip thing that you do so well. Yes, people think of me as a mother, and, I think people do it because I hear this from people. There is a comfortability about me. People automatically think of me as their aunt, their mom. People want to hug me all the time. Girl, my face be broke out from hair products and cologne. I was like, come on, hug me. So they, they are more prone to remember that than Mariah. I love Mariah Dillard, who I did for Luke Cage. It's like, nobody says, hey, come on, let's, let's roll. Let's ride dirty. Come with me, Alpha, you know. So, but I think I was a really good gangster. I enjoyed that. The Native American people that inhabit the story of Juanita, they've never been in those positions before on screen. I am so thrilled for them as well. The only time they have been in the frame, really, is when people were exploiting an image of them. And so, I mean, there's Adam Beach. Adam is like a honey. He is a looker. And he's over 50, so you know he's looking good at 20, 30, all that. Yes, he's had some commercial success as an indigenous male actor, but, he, you know, he should have been a matinee guy. He should have been the love interest all this time, and nobody's ever asked him to do that. About six of the Blackfoot elders packed up their lodges and drove from Montana across to Virginia where we were shooting, and they did actual ceremony, I'm telling you, and they did it with our, our crew and everybody. There were grips just like having the come to Jesus ceremony it was it was just amazing but as we come into the center of the frame we need to make sure that our indigenous brothers and sisters our brown brothers and sisters that everybody comes in too we can't be like the dominant culture has always been because if it doesn't include everybody it's not real it doesn't reflect what we see every day and experience in our every days very sexy mama sita don't call me mama blair underwood Oh, right. I ain't your mama. Right, that, no, no, that's, that's my bad.